made you look at the DPM route as opposed to the MD or DO route? And is there anything particularly that uh, stood out for you in podiatry that uh, MD, DO didn't offer? Yeah, I mentioned this a little bit in the in the beginning when I was first um, probably given a long winded chat about why I got into podiatry. Um, but for me, this was something that as I started, again, learning more about myself and realizing how much I thrived on details and specifics, um, you know, much to the annoyance of a lot of people close to me in my life, I, I realized that I wanted that in a profession because I knew I was good at that. Um, and so I you know, I think that there's a, obviously a lot of that in podiatry because we're focused on one specific area and the surgeries that we do as foot and ankle surgeons are very, very detailed. Um, so, I mean, they're obviously orthopedic in nature. So I'm putting in plates and screws and things like that all day long. Um, but it's, you know, it's very detailed in the sense of, of fixing or improving, you know, one area. I think that, you know, what stands out with podiatry is just we, you know, we're this surgical subspecialty of medicine. But, you know, at the same time, we have so much freedom in how we set up or create our careers and what we're doing on a daily basis. Um, I have sort of the unique perspective because my sister, um, she and I went through school at the same time. Um, she was going to allopathic school in Toledo while I was going through um, school out in the Bay Area. And uh, she ended up going to a residency for general surgery. So she's a general surgeon, did a fellowship in bariatric medicine. Um, so she's actually the first uh, female bariatric surgeon uh, hired by her health system in Toledo. So I watched her go through her training, her residency, her fellowship, um, and I saw just this complete lack of flexibility um, in what she was doing in even the job opportunities that she had. Um, there's not a lot of variability in the career choice that she chose. You know, it's not like she can just go decide one day to open up this private practice and, you know, change what her, you know, her clinical surgical um, situation is. I can decide one day I want to get out of academics and go into a hospital based route. I can move into a private practice route. Um, I have so many subspecialties within podiatry. I can decide tomorrow I want to be a specialist in wound care and go work in a wound center um, and do wounds and hyperbarics and all of that. I can decide that I only want to do sports medicine or I only want to, you know, treat routine care patients. And maybe one day I just drop surgery um, because I've decided that I just want to become non-surgical. Um, my younger sister doesn't have that option. Her career is what it is. She also doesn't have that flexibility. Um, and so I think podiatry offered so much of that. And uh, uh, it's I mean, it's made me really happy in my young career so far. That's a very. If you enjoyed this, click the thumbnail to watch the full video or visit Student Doctor Network to see the free resources we have available to help you become a doctor.